the bigger picture project what a load of crap and yet again it's for the big teams just to do what they want control who they want and go from there this is the toon review Hi everyone and welcome back to another Toon Review video and uh, well although it's quiet on the club front at the minute with Newcastle United um, obviously news has just broken about this uh, bigger picture project which, is, which mainly involves Manchester United and Liverpool trying to own the league because uh, that's how it is basically it's just they, they want changes made to the, the, the structure of the Football League and in that they've promised that uh, the EFL teams will benefit from it because they will work out a package which comes down to them and keeps them financially sound. Now as good as that may seem for the lower league teams it's once again bullshit for us and the rest of the Premier League because once again it's the big clubs trying to dictate everything as has been the case for a long time now. Now I know that um, some of the Premier League members and board are opposed to this change but some aren't and um, quite frankly it stinks to high heaven that this comes out just a few months after the takeover is rejected. Now we know that uh, Liverpool were one of the clubs who rejected the takeover so that also stinks to high heaven because if this has been going on in the background now for uh, whatever a few months it must have been because they, they've got quite a structure laid out already so it's not like they've just come up with this it's basically saying that they will dictate who is in the league i.e. cutting it down to 18 teams and then where the financial structure goes from there. They want to take away the Carabao Cup, they want to take away the, the Community Shield. Now the Carabao Cup has had its um, critics in the past, I gather that, it's the League Cup, but again with the League Cup it's tradition. You know this League Cup dates back years and years, way before our time and hopefully will continue in the future. For me the League Cup is uh, you know really good for the lower league teams as well they get to come up against the top teams and they don't have to rely on the FA Cup you know and sometimes the the smaller teams can go quite a long way you know in the League Cup and it's just it really irritates me and I know this is the second video in a row that this is a rant but come on are we losing touch with football here is it just completely changing for all the wrong reasons you know, the Premier League don't have to come out with this and say, well, you know, it'll benefit the, the smaller teams. Why can't the Premier League just help out the EFL? You know, the money that's involved in the Premier League these days is billions. We're talking billions of pounds here. We're not talking about a couple of grand here and there. We're talking billions of pounds. So nobody can argue with me that the Premier League do not have enough money that they could structure a deal with the EFL without all this bigger picture crap. Because, quite frankly, you know, Liverpool and Manchester United, especially Liverpool, you know, I feel sorry for their fans. I've got a lot of good friends who are Liverpool fans. You know, when we go down there, um, see them all the time, we meet up for drinks before the game, and it's them I feel sorry for. It's not the fans' decision, this. And I'm sure, deep down in their hearts, the Liverpool fans will not agree with this either. It's just wrong. Now, hopefully, enough Premier League board members and, uh, you know, shareholders or whatever it may be will disagree with this um, you know project breakout or whatever crap they've come out with because it's not going to work this team's going to suffer from the Premier League because that's an extra two teams to go are they thinking about their financial situation if they manage to you know teams like Newcastle or Brighton or whoever it may be finish 17th 16th you know they've battled all season long yet because they finished there and it's going down to an 18 league team are they going to suffer? Are they going to get relegated? Or the teams that are in the championship who 
earn the right to be promoted can't because the premiership's cutting down the teams. It just stinks. Everything stinks with football at the moment. It's, it, again, it's all the bigwigs trying to earn m mega fortunes and break away here and break away there. If you don't want to play in the English League, go somewhere else. Go and play in a European League. You know, fix up your fancy European Leagues and play with the Real Madrid's, Barcelona's, Juventus's. If you don't want to play in your domestic league, sod off. But don't try and bring down the other teams in the Premier League and the EFL. Now, we know Rick Parry is, uh, you know, ex-chief executive or whatever of Liverpool, who's now head of the EFL or whatever position he holds. You know, so there's collaboration there. But what there's not collaboration with is the rest of the Premier League. You know, teams who uh, have been there for years and years, who are just not getting anything from this. But once again, what we're seeing is the bigger teams trying to dictate. And it's wrong. You cannot dictate. You are part of the English domestic leagues. You shouldn't be running it. There's people to run it. They've run it badly, if you ask me, in my opinion, with the Premier League, certainly. With what's going on with Newcastle over the summer, I'm still very bitter about that. But something doesn't sit right with me, that that gets rejected, and Liverpool are one of the teams who rejected, who said they didn't want that takeover to happen, and now this comes out in the wash. There's just something does not sit right with me. The truth will come out eventually. It will. It's got to. And certainly if this court case goes ahead, it will. The, the, the actual truth of what's gone on over this summer and into this project breakout or whatever it may be, that will all come out. Because I just find it very, very fishy indeed that Liverpool did that and then they're part of this um, campaign to, to run English football. Can you imagine Manchester United running the game? Running English football? How? It's not right. It just isn't right. The Glazers who run Manchester United, are you telling me that they're going to be running English football? It's bullshit and it needs wiping under the carpet and disappeared from all people's thoughts. If Manchester United and Liverpool want to break, break through or break out or whatever they want to do, go and set up a European league and sod off out of English football. Because, quite frankly, it stinks to high heaven. The whole thing. So that's my opinion on it. Let me know in the comments below what yours are because I, I, I've read a lot of things on Twitter about fans not agreeing with this and rightly so. So let me know what you think in the comments. Let's have a talk about it and we'll see how many people actually agree with what Manchester United and Liverpool are proposing or how many people like myself think it's absolute bullcrap. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. It'd be great to have you on board. The channel's grown very nicely. Um, if you've come back again, thank you very much. Do hit the notification bell so you're notified of whenever I do upload videos. There will be more Newcastle United coming up, especially with the build-up to Manchester United at the weekend. Um, but in the meantime, thank you very much. Do catch me on Twitter as well, at The Tune Review. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next time.